All right, I'll, I'll just go ahead and start off. Obviously, a very, very disappointing loss uh, Saturday. I had one of the toughest ones in my career, either as a head coach, assistant, player, whatever the case may be. Uh, you know, we, we played pretty well in the first half and then just didn't get things done in the second half. Had a hard time converting third downs. You know, gave a few big plays up defensively. Had a couple miscues in the kicking game. We, we had a opportunity to uh, turn the field on a punt, you know, after a safety and, you know, instead of the ball getting on the 15, it started on the 40 as a big, big, uh, big play. Uh, so just didn't, didn't make the plays in the second half, didn't, just didn't get anything going on really any side of the ball uh, in the second half. So, you know, guys were disappointed, coaches obviously disappointed, uh, you know, but we got to turn the page, you know, there's not, not anything you can do about it, you know, you don't want it to to get you twice, you know. So uh, I thought we've had a, we had a good workout yesterday, good workout today. You know, we need to put that one behind us, put everything into Southern Miss or a good ball club. They've had a couple tough losses. They had a real tough one on Saturday as well. Uh, you know, so uh, uh, we need to turn a page and get ready to go. Yes, we're uh, you know we're, we're we're exploring all things right now, but uh, uh, he, he will be our starter on Saturday. Coach, how what do you think? No, just what do you what do you think went wrong for him? That a lot of his passes were off target in that game. Oh, oh uh, you know he, he uh, you know just the trajectory of the the throw, you know he. Did a poor job on some of those. I don't know if he left his hand too early or what, what his issue was, but he, he, he left quite a few short. And uh, then we had a couple critical drops. You know, we had a third down, if we were to catch the slant, it's first down, and we moved the sticks. And then we, then we had another one that we, we missed on a little option right at the back. It might have been a touchdown, you know, if uh, he catches that. So, you know, those would have helped him tremendously as well. So, uh, you know, they, they, they did a good job of their blitz package, you know, particularly in the second half and not allowing them a lot a lot uh, time to throw, you know, mixing up who was coming, who was dropping, all those kind of things. So, uh, you know, as I've always said, the quarterback gets too much credit when things go well and gets too much blame when things go, go poorly. Is, is Michael Pratt ready to play yet as a, as a true professional? How, how we think he is. We think, he, we think he's ready to play. You know, we, we do. He's, uh, he, he's, he was here in the spring. That's probably a big advantage for him that he was here in the spring. Coach, what does a guy like this mean to um, a guy like Keon and a guy like that? Like, what does it Oh, I, I'm sure it's a, a big ball game. He knows quite a few of those guys, I'm sure. Probably not as many as you might expect. That was a few years ago that he was there. Uh, but, you know, he's got to approach this game like all the others. One thing that he does a sensational job of is Preparation does a really nice job with his prep each and every week for games. When, when a guy's going through a situation like that, do you feel like you have to sort of do anything to make him contain his emotions and not get you know too excited about it? I don't think so. I, I think uh, you know he's a mature young man and he'll he'll handle it the right way. You know, he, I don't think anybody puts any more pressure on themselves than than he does. You know, so he'll he'll be fine. Willie, when you when you uh, went back and looked at the uh, interception right before the half, any anything new there, or it, it was what you thought? Uh, it was yeah, it just uh, you know the corner kind of baited him into a bad throw, and and uh, he threw it, and and uh, you know sometimes you you know you you. Make a decision. Wish he could have it back. I'm sure as soon as he released it, he wished. You know, he knew that, that was the incorrect read. Uh, uh, but that's that's all that happened on that one. It just was a, you know, there 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 was the, uh, you know, the out would have been available with the corner sinking, and just just didn't work out that way. You know, that that happens at quarterback from time to time. Any anything you can you can do as a coach to. Anything that you can think that you might be able to help him with? 
Well, I think we got to support them. I think we got to be positive with them. Uh, you know, and, and uh, you know, I think those are the, the main things. He, he's got it in him, and uh, you know, he showed he showed sparks of that in both ball games. You know, we just got to get it consistently. Pretty good at times, kind of like everybody. You know, at times they played really well. I thought Joey Claybrook had a good game. Uh, Trey Trey Tuggle for a true freshman playing his second college start did a nice job. You know, all of them I, I thought played solid. You know, I w wouldn't say it was uh, the greatest game they've had, but they certainly uh, uh, played well. And, and at times they played really well. They did they did a nice job. We, We've got a relatively young offensive line other than our left side with Corey Dublin and Joey Claybrook, and I thought they did a good job. You're a veteran coach with a veteran team, a lot of seniors and juniors in the lineup. How do you make, what do you say, and how do you make sure that guys make that just one loss and let it linger on? You know, we talked about it after the ball game. We talked about it on Monday. Uh, you know, the, the players have, have Really stepped up. I thought we had a, you know, an enthusiastic workout yesterday, and enthusiastic one today, and and uh, you know it's, you know, you give the talk about adversity, you know, and, and there's going to be tougher things that are going to happen to you in your life, you know, over the next 30, 40, 50 years, and uh, you just got to you got to deal with it in a positive manner as, as best you can, and, and that's just so it's what you got to do, you know. I, I, there's a lot of what ifs and things you wish you would have done differently. And, you know, you need to really focus on that Sunday after the ball game and Monday a little bit when you're watching film, and then you got to wait till the end of the year to really uh, analyze that particular ball game because, uh, you know, we're, we're just at the beginning of our season. I, I told them also, hey, this is a marathon. It's not a sprint. You know, it's, can you be a tough guy mentally and physically every single day? And that's tough to do, and, and uh, but that's what we have to do. You know, I, I just think, uh, uh, you know, you just got to be as positive as you possibly can. You know, th these were <laughs> great young men before the game, and they're great young men now, you know, so you can't lose sight of, of what your mission is with, uh, w w with your student athletes. And, uh, you know, just uh, being as positive as you possibly can. Obviously, you got to point out errors to make sure that you don't repeat, uh, you know, uh, things that you did incorrectly. Uh, but I think, you know, you got to – luckily, we've got a good group of young men and, and uh, you know, they're, they're fun to work with, they're fun to be around. You know, I, I, I hurt for them, hurt for our coaches, hurt for me. You know, you, know, you want to win that ball game. Uh, but uh, you gotta, you got to turn the page. You know, it's uh, just a fact of life. Any other questions for Coach Fritz? Um, yeah, Coach. They're awesome. I mean, they, they do a, a sensational job. Uh, it's been really neat to watch Devin. We, he kind of got thrown into the fire, you know, a few years back. And uh, he has just gotten better and better and better and better uh, every single year. Highly organized. Gabe is is a, a great sounding board for Devin. And, and I know that he, you know, D Gabe comes with us on trips. Those guys are, uh, you know, experts at what they do. Uh, I, I might be a little different than some other head coaches. I've been an equipment guy before. You know, I've, I, I've done that. And uh, I know how hard a work it is and how time consuming it is. And, and uh, they're both perfectionists and want our guys to feel good about things. And, and uh, I, I just, uh, it's been neat to watch, uh, you know, Devin in particular blossom over the last couple of years. Uh, you know, because, you know, now these guys are not his buddies. Now guys that he went to school with and things like that. And, and uh, you know, our, our guys really respect what uh, Devin and Gabe do. Appreciate it. Thank you. Anybody else? Thank you. Thank you.